Hey guys, Tech Rally here, and welcome to the first lesson of Blockstack plus React. I hope you had a really good 2018 and stayed refreshed for the start of 2019. Um, I'm going to be taking a break from the view lessons because I really am excited about teaching Blockstack plus React. Um, if you're not familiar with Blockstack, we can go over a little bit um, in this lesson, but I really encourage you to deep dive into the documentation and the links will be provided in the description. So what is Blockstack? Blockstack is a new internet for decentralized app that you can access through the Blockstack browser. With Blockstack, there's a new world of apps that let you own your own data and maintain your privacy, security, and freedom. I think one of the things that really stood out in at least the documentation is that users can run decentralized apps through the Blockstack browser and give explicit read and write permissions to their data. Information is encrypted and stored on the user's personal devices. There are no middlemen, no passwords, and no massive data silos to breach. This is a very big difference between a traditional server like how one uses Facebook or how one uses Instagram or Amazon or Airbnb. Um, generally, our information is stored in a centralized server that way. And this was a big issue back in, back in last year, actually, in 2018, when um, companies were selling people's information and personal data for monetary value. With Blockstack, that can't actually be possible because no one really owns the data except you. Let's go back to our lesson. So prerequisites for this course. Blockstack in general does provide you with very good starter tutorials. Um, they actually automate a lot of the things for you in the tutorials, such as authentication and just building a very simple application. But for this specific tutorial, I really want to be able to build something from scratch using the Create React app and using the Blockstack JS library. I would highly recommend using the tutorials link to just kind of get started and familiarize yourself with the Blockstack library. But in terms of prerequisites, I would encourage you to really understand the use case of Blockstack. Secondly, I want you to know that you should have pretty strong JavaScript fundamentals, familiarity with React and ES6 syntax. So for this specific course, we're going to be building a blog app powered by React and Blockstack. The front end will be a React application and the back end will be Blockstack and Gaia. We're going to be utilizing a couple of different libraries to make our development a little bit easier, but the primary ones that we're going to be using are Blockstack, Lodash, React Bulma Components, React Router DOM, React Scripts, and Node SAS. We're also not just going to be building in local hosts, but we're actually going to be deploying it um, in production using Netlify. And if you want to actually see a working demo link, um, the link is provided below. In terms of videos per week, I'm going to try to keep it at one to two to move the project forward. But if you feel like you, you understand the fundamentals of Blockstack and understand the fundamentals of React pretty well, I can attach a GitHub link to the actual project itself and you could kind of go at your own pace. But in general, I think one to two videos is a good, slow and steady way to move, keep the project moving forward. But like I said, um, all the resources are provided online. And if you're really um, kind of dying to keep moving forward with your own version of the application, by, by all means, go ahead. Um, I'm super excited to work on this application with y'all. And we're going to truly build a fully decentralized app. Let's do it.